sleep, I'm dying to wake you up. Me and you, you and me, baby, we can't get close enough. Just takes my lips on your skin. You start to smile. I breathe you in. Whoa, stay in my eyes. You're killing me good. Baby, you ruined me for anyone else. Whisper me slow. Kiss me too deep. Too late for me to save your soul. Get up slow, it's hard to go. We both know that world's right outside. Be strong, showers on. Come on, baby, the water's fine. You draw some hearts on the glass. Reach for a towel, not pull you back. Whoa. And uh, let's see here. Vince, he uh, covered a lot of territory as a side man with artists like Bob Dylan, the Eagles. Vince has played with Bobby Womack and Roseanne Cash and Dan Fogelberg and Glenn Fry, who we mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. Rodney Crowell and Jimmy, J.D. Souther. Don't forget Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. You know what? Jimmy Buffett's following is, I imagine playing live concerts with Jimmy Buffett is like probably different yeah. than all the other experiences, yeah. huh? It's pretty wacko, yeah. You've got like three generations of parrot heads. Who is it, Vince, that you haven't been out with that you would love to be out with? Oh, I don't know. There's there's a million of them. I would love to do Bob Dylan again. I mean, the only thing that the things I did with Dylan was, uh, which was great, was to rehearse at his house for three weeks and then go in the studio and cut. And we must have cut like 20 songs, and you wow. never know. The tape is always rolling, so you never know what's being, you know, what's going to be a song and what's not. In fact, is he e easy going, or is he a... Uh, he's just a trip, I'll say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I happen to know that Bob Dylan's also doing radio, similar to Mad yeah, Dog and Dave. Yes, yeah, yes, have you, yeah. Have you heard any of that, or...? Yeah, he plays some great stuff, and just, you know, talking, man. Uh, that was, uh, you know, uh, Muddy Waters playing, uh, you know, uh, uh, it sounds like this. Yeah. Okay. So that sounds cool. Try the Danish pastry yet? <laughs> no, I haven't had Danish. But coffee. I've had a coffee in the Danish. You had a coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Six-time BMI Million Performance Recipient, the 1996 Nominee Songwriter of the Year, Bob Dylan Knocked Out Loaded, Eagles Hotel California tour you played on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times have you played the song Hotel California? No, well, you know what? Uh, that's that's misleading because I just I was with J.D. Souther. We were opening for the Eagles, and then I would come up and play New Kid in Town. So okay. I never played, but I would listen to always be back there waiting for Take It to the Limit because I knew wow. that means I was next. And sometimes I was in poor condition. Oh, uh, okay. Play. Now, what exactly did you mean? You, you were drinking? I think what and when I was 26 years old, whatever you had. I was doing really but you made it through because you look bright-eyed and bushy-tailed you really do <laughs> well you gotta you know you gotta moderate it at some point otherwise well Vince you got uh you got kids no 
No, no. married but no kids. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, I what, got married way, way, way late. I was a goof goofball for a little, little too long. Yeah, running around and stuff, and I finally met the girl of my dreams. Been married fourteen years, and she's awesome. She's great. She blonde. Uh, she can be. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. That was easy. Sitting here talking to Vince Melamed. I didn't mean that kids is about someone else. I mean that she has been blonde, she has been redhead, and she's been brunette since we've been together. So you got your dream girl. Yes. No kids. Yes. You're a, an accomplished, well-documented, award-winning songwriter. Yeah. And you're going to play in Christiania's Burner Theater tonight. That's correct. I, I just think that's awesome. And we really appreciate you coming and being our hey, guest on the blast. show, brother. It's, oh, are you kidding? And you I love John, so- John Coltrane, and I wish when I was a kid that I appreciated John Coltrane because I would have gone to see him play live. And I never, yeah. I saw Otis Redding twice. I saw Jimi Hendrix eight times, but I never saw John no. Coltrane. Yeah. You saw oh. Jimi eight times? Yep. Damn, you are old. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right, I told him, and I saw Rudy Valley 35 times. <laughs> Rudy Valley. <laughs> That's old. I know, that's old. You want to talk old? Ooh, that's I'm messing old. with you, Vince. I'm messing with you, Vince. He's got two beautiful dogs, which you've seen, Vince. Do you have any dogs? No. I have one cat, Baby Stinky. Baby Stinky the yeah, cat. Yeah, she's a cutie. Baby Stinky. How old is Baby Stinky? Baby Stinky is going to be two years old in November. Okay. Do you gonna, are you going to have a Baby Stinky b- birthday party? I certainly am. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and does she have a lot of friends that you can have? She has a lot of friends, if, uh, but she attacks them all. I love it! <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like she, a... And she has pets. She brings, she brings chipmunks in the house. We had a chipmunk living in Dead our house ones. for two weeks. No, alive. And the chipmunk didn't want to come out. I came in late one night, and the chipmunk was eating out of the cat food bowl. See, now that's what I think. And he said, why should I leave? That's creepy about cats. It's good, yeah. It's creepy about Wompets. cats like that. They, why don't they just kill it? What, the cat? Yeah, why didn't it just kill the poor thing? Instead, it kind of wounds it and then yeah, messes with know, it. That's evil. Uh, you know. <laughs> what can I say? W-T-F. Well, okay. Oh, like, oh. We're talking with Vince Melamede, keyboard historian, played with everybody. Eagles, fucking Don, Don Henley, David Bowie, you've written. No, no, I didn't write with him. No, no, I got to record with him one night. It was, it was little, actually, he was, he was real cool to me because I was just this little 25-year-old and, and I was sitting there with, with Womack and, and Ronnie Wood in this house, you know. And I Ronnie was, I Wood? Was, yeah, but I was completely, uh, uh, you know, I, I felt completely out of league and I'm just sitting here and he was sat down and he says, what are you doing, Vinny? Want a beer? He gave me a beer, and we watched a little TV, and uh, he was cool. And he said, well, let's all go in the studio. So I got to play on a track that never ended up on. It was on Station to Station album, but it wasn't. It was, but it wasn't. Well, I love me some David Boy. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah, he was cool. He was great. I don't think I've ever met anybody who's actually professionally worked with David Bowie. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the most impressive thing about Bowie was at about 2 in the morning, we were, we were recording at Wally Hyder, which is a studio uh, in Hollywood. And when Bowie wanted to go out and get some cigarettes... He didn't make any production. He put on a put on a coat, wore a baseball cap, and walked out and got cigarettes. Didn't do you know? Yeah. Looking around, didn't. He wasn't draw worried him. about right. paparazzi. Well, well, he didn't. He didn't make a big production. I think some of those people are more pissed if uh, no one bothers them or takes their picture. <laughs> I think that's scarier to them than. Oh yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah. There's, I mean, people are googling themselves daily. Yeah. Just to see how it's going. I tell you what, Vince. I saved this one for last. What, the quiz? No, the quiz oh. comes after this last okay. little trivia tidbit about our guest here, Vince Mellon. Oh, okay. You work with Andy Kaufman. Yeah, I was his piano player. Anytime he played in Los Angeles, I was there. Andy Kaufman. Oh. Andy Kaufman, yeah. The famous comedian. Yeah. The immortalized in the movie starring Jim Carrey. Which was, let me say, was... The man on the moon. To me, was 98% right on. I Even I, Carey. Well, I mean, Carey used to come to the shows, though. He was, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. The shows at the, at the place called the Comedy Store we used to play, and we'd play small theaters, and Andy would have school buses pull up and take the whole audience out for milk and cookies after the show. Oh, my God. Yeah. He was genius. He, he, was, was, he, a, he, was, he was a wacko. He was comedy genius. <laughs> was he a pain in the ass to work with? No, never a pain in the ass, but he, uh, he was a trip. I'll just say that. He was... Uh, did you, working with him, did you... Did you just accept that fact or, or oh yeah you had to uh-huh. i mean i knew who he was from seeing him on saturday night live a few times and uh and my friend greg sutton the bass player uh with andy went to high school with him so he 
filled us in everything about Andy before we went and did the shows and stuff. That's incredible. I just want to touch you one time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told you, don't touch me now. Uh, <laughs> Never touch me. Hey, hey, hey <laughs> listen, you know, you know, yada, yada, yada. We get some coffee in That's Danish. There's not coffee in a Danish. I haven't seen any Danish around here. I also went to a Danish modern uh, furniture store. Yeah. Uh, you know, what are you, what didn't are look you? that just, good. There's lots of Danish around there. There's a Danish right here. There's Danish down there. There's Danish everywhere. You know, we should go. We should go shoot, shoot some basketball. Basketball, very yeah. nice. You play some basketball? Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you ready for your Nashville quiz? Absolutely. You guys, after talking to Vince Shelley, I'm worried, baby. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. He, he sounds uh, knowledgeable. How long you been in Nashville? Twenty-five years. Oh Lord, Shelley Tackett. Yeah, but that doesn't mean. Oh.